Hello, Pray and Play friends, Murphy and Savitri and anybody else who's watching. Today, we're going to continue to talk about the birth of Jesus, Christmas. It's coming up in about a week. And if you're watching this on Sunday, that's, that's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is Christmas Eve and Friday is Christmas. So six days away. That's really exciting. What are you doing to get ready for Christmas? Are you singing songs? Are you getting ready to sing songs? Are you decorating your house or a Christmas tree or your yard and wrapping presents and waiting patiently, maybe eagerly? Well, while you're waiting for Jesus's birth and this big celebration, this big birthday party that we're going to have on Christmas day, we can say a prayer that's kind of fun and helps us prepare to receive Jesus. Are you ready? Okay. It goes like this. Make your arms like you're going to hold a baby and we'll say, God, thank you for your special son who came to show that you're the one. He came to wash our sins away so we can live in heaven someday but here's a little secret if you know god and you know love you have a little taste of what heaven is like right here your gift of jesus helped me see with my eyes and maybe even with my heart how much you love and care for me god brought jesus or love into the world for us. Should we try that one more time? Alrighty. It starts with rocking arms. Ready? God, thank you for your special son who came to show that you're the one. He came to wash our sins away so we can live in heaven someday. Your gift of Jesus helps me see how much you love and care for me. And we can imagine Jesus or God holding us like we would hold a baby and rocking us and keeping us safe and loved. So that's our Christmas prayer. Let's read a little bit from the story. And if you remember last week, we talked about Mary and Joseph in the manger. Here, let's get a good picture of that. Do you see there's Joseph and Mary and the baby Jesus? And we see, what's that? A donkey and looks like a cow. And there's a dove that might be the Holy Spirit or a representation of the Holy Spirit. Mary and Joseph had to stay in a stable. Jesus was born there. Mary wrapped him up and laid him in a manger. So Jesus was born where the animals were. And then, what's happening here? Angels came to talk to, who do you think those people are? Angels appeared to shepherds and told them about Jesus. Can you imagine angels coming to talk to you? The shepherds let th left their sheep and went to Bethlehem to see baby Jesus. And I suppose if angels came and shared such good news, we'd go to Bethlehem too. Do you ever wonder why God chose to show, to share Jesus with shepherds? Like, they're some of the first people who know about Jesus. And that's really interesting because shepherds are just, normal people like you and me. God wanted to share that love with us. God has made us special. 
with your parents this week, you might take a look at pictures of you when you were a baby. God made you special and he made me special. And maybe when we take a look at pictures of um, ourselves, maybe our brothers and sisters, maybe even our parents when they were babies, maybe friends' baby pictures, we can see just how special they are too. Would you like to see a picture of me when I was a baby? That was me when I was, mm, I'm gonna guess, maybe six months old. My parents thought I was pretty special and your parents, I'm sure, thought that you were special and they still do and so does God and Jesus. So this week, maybe you and your family can take a look at some baby pictures, maybe some baby pictures from Christmas's past and remember how much you're loved and how much Jesus loves you. Let's pray. So find a good praying position for you. Maybe your eyes are closed or maybe they're not. Maybe you're holding very still and maybe you're running around, but take a moment to feel God. Dear God, thank you for this day and for our time together at Pray and Play. We appreciate and love you and are so grateful that you brought your son to us. We can't wait for Christmas. We're waiting to celebrate. We're waiting to sing. We're waiting to, um, to get to know Jesus better. God, be in our hearts today and our families and keep us safe. And, and Lord, we just thank you for loving us so much. Amen. The next time I see you, it will have already been Christmas. So I'm going to wish you a Merry Christmas.